Guys, so I'm going to talk about content creation and potentially where you can outsource your content. Now, it's a bit repetitive. There are other parts in the, the course that talk about these things. But when it comes to affiliate, you get two options. You're writing it yourself or you're going to be outsourcing it. Most people are probably going to outsource that stuff or use AI or somewhere in between. Now, the content brief is the first thing. Now, you can use something like phrase.io. That's the one I use. There are many tools out there that do similar. And you can put in a keyword. So let's say we wanted to sell golf clubs. Glasgow. Um, country is going to be United Kingdom. Doesn't have to be, of course. Um, create document. Now, just so you understand how the content brief works within Phrase, um, Phrase will process the top 20 search results for that search term. So it's going away there and it's going to pick headings from the search results and use AI to assemble my outline. Now, it's going to do a first draft whilst incorporating factual data. And you can optimise to make sure your article covers all of the key topics for that particular query. Now, that is what I would call a content brief. Putting all of that over and giving it to your content writer saying, here's the outline, here's the subheaders, here's some facts, here's some statistics. Can you do something with it? Um, so, using... A tool to do that obviously quickens the process and obviously it takes a bit of time to scroll th scroll through and it's scrolling through all of the golf clubs in Glasgow. So I can start my outline now. So it's processed 22 search results. Start my outline. Now, I can grab headings from the search results or I can generate headlines and ideas with AI or I can go and post my own headlines in if I want to avoid that, but I'm going to use AI in this instance. So it will generate an outline using AI. The reason that I'm using AI and not the, the ones that are there, uh, because I might want to change them. So I might have what is golf, city centre clubs, Pollock, Hags Castle, Cathkin Braes, Outline Clubs, Balmore, Lynn. These are the ones that are on the outskirts of Glasgow. So I can have that. You can go and explore other headings there. Um, so I can save that as an outline. Obviously, I'm just ticking stuff for fun here. Um, and then we can ask the tool to start writing. Now, it's going to write that little paragraph. We click Write More, and it will continue to do its thing. That allows us to have some form of outline and structure to the article. You can keep clicking write more, write more, write more, and it will create words um, and, and basically writing that, that's going to help you. Now, once you do that, obviously you've then got to optimise uh, the said article. Um, you, you can potentially go in there and add links to other people both external and internal linking, which is important. You can integrate your Google Search Console and you've got a bunch of other AI tools down there as well. So that is the kind of <laughs> outline of what goes on. Um, you can see your content there, but creating that content brief or um, you know, creating an outline and even writing parts of it is going to be super helpful for the writer that's going to be helping you. Now, they may go away and they may use chat GPT or whatever else to pad that out, rewrite it, or whatever. Um, and that's a perfectly good thing to be doing. Now, no one wants to sit and write their own content. And as I've said in another video, you can outsource your content to people that, that just write content. You can go to Upwork, Fiverr, so on and so forth. And you'll find writers there. Obviously, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, finding a good writer for everyone. Um, but I've always had good success going to South Africa, get onto LinkedIn, publishing a job ad, and paying people per article. 
is probably the best way to do it. Um, obviously motivates them to work. It's a task-based thing. You've not got a noose around your neck. If they don't perform or perform or under deliver, then you've got the ability um, to use them for all they're worth. And if they can only produce 10 articles a month, um, that's on them. You just agree a pair article rate. You can also just hire someone to work for you and outsource that content to them. So going on to something like LinkedIn, um, again, there's a more detailed uh, video on this, but going to advertise and going out there and advertising a job is something you can do. And you can actually advertise that job to a very specific area. And you'll be able to get some nice South African content writers who will be able to help you with your affiliate website to do that at scale, because we all know affiliate websites need more content, so trying to do that at scale is something that's super useful. Now, I would always advise against, at the present time, December 2023, using automated AI content that automatically publishes to WordPress is not the best use of building a long-term affiliate website. You may have short-term gains with it, and I'd love for that to, to be different, and, and it was definitely guaranteed to be long-term. At present, there's no tool that's doing that effectively. It's where it's posting images and doing stuff um, on a massive scale, which is what you need for an affiliate website. So you do need to either hire a content editor, um, someone who understands AI and, and you know doing the editing um, or just outsource it and um, relatively simple and straightforward so that would be my advice to you guys but you need to create that content brief first use some form of tool to scrape the results and give that content brief over to your writers and go from there